Hello, my name is D. Revis from Business Analysis Made Easy. I'm going to try to answer the question, what is Six Sigma in this short video? This is what a lot of companies are like. There are so many problems and quality issues that it is a little like walking through a field of alligators. Let's take a look at how Six Sigma tries to solve the alligator problem. To start with, this is a normal probability curve. I'm going to assume that you know what I mean in a standard deviation is. The idea is to set your standards at Six Sigma or standard deviations away from the mean. This would mean that there would be literally zero defects as you can see that the curve pretty much disappears after three sigmas. Since Six Sigma is out where you can't see much, I will illustrate what happens at two sigma. So if your standard of acceptance were at two sigma, there would be 2.3% defects. This would amount to 23,000 defects per million. That is the level that many companies operate at. The de defects might be manufacturing errors or service, service mistakes. So this chart shows how many defects to expect if you were to implement Six Sigma in your operation. 3.4 defects per million. But if you were to go to normal probability tables and make the calculation, you would discover that the numbers are way different. That is because there is a big safety factor that is built into the Six Sigma methodology. When the Six Sigma process design is designed, the Six Sigma standards are set for the conditions that exist at that point in time. However, in the long term or over time, it is assumed that the mean can wander up to 1.5 sigmas from its starting point. This could be on either side of the original mean. So the actual calculations are for 4.5 sigmas away from the nearest standard set as shown in the graph. So this chart shows the sigma levels where the actual calculations are made. So in actuality, the 3.4 sigma uh, defects per million is calculated at 4.5 sigmas. So it is very pessimistic. If that 1.5 sigma shift never occurs, the probability of a defect would be much less than one. 